Hey guys, welcome to Guy Gaming TV. Welcome back to Sim Airport. And welcome back to uh, the channel. If you are returning as well. If you are new. Hey, how you doing? Um, as you see, we are starting to expand into this. I've built this, uh, I think, last time on episode one. Add this up. We are starting to expand. We have maxed out our bank loan because um, I really need to get this up and running so I can start getting more aircraft in, which equals more money. Um, I have another couple of bent, uh, ticket discs open. As you see, I have the uh, CFO in his lovely little suit there. So that we have a Oriental guy as a CFO, and he's there making sure our bank loan is hunky dory. Uh, janitors, I don't know what's going on with the rubbish, but there seems to be shite everywhere these days. And I've got a good few bins about me. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to stop me from putting crap everywhere. Um, so I think in the last video, maybe, I showed you that we have new floors. So whenever we start raking the cash in, some of these floors will be getting uh, used. Because there's some nice ones. Not too sure about floor 11. But something like the floor 10, I think, is definitely going to be a bathroom floor. That's quite a nice bathroom floor, that. Uh, and some of the other ones might be like restauranty floors and that, so we'll uh, we'll have a say at that. But uh, yeah, I'm happy there's more floors in, I have to say. Um, I'm very happy. And I like how they've got uh, all 3B and all 3, so that if you're doing, say, in my old videos, before they all went a bit boobs. Uh, I'd use all three on that one, but it'd go down lovely there, but then it'd cross wise that way. It's looking a wee bit rubbish. So I'm actually glad they've put the alternate ones in. Um, that's really cool, actually. Um, there, it'd be good for doing it for them too, uh, floor 13 and 14, because if you say there, uh, also angled uh, downward. Um, so that'd be cool if they had one for that as well. So, this bit, I need a hundred grand exactly to cover this in. And then when that is done, I will need to get uh, a taxiway across there. So it's all money at the minute. It is, um, you know, a lot of money to be spent to get it up and running. But I'll get there. Um, and I'm not sure what to get going first. I think I'll get this going and finish this all first because there's no point in getting a taxiway up. If I can't get the uh, vehicle, uh, the aircraft, to the gate anyway. So I'll get all this done first. And there's me. Forgot to put the phone on silent. Oop, the day of the... And this is letting me know she's going to work okay. So what we're going to try and do today is get some cash to get all this stuff up and running um, there's not a massive amount I can do at the moment so um, just have to let it run but if you uh, bear with me I'll come back when we uh, have some dodge to do stuff so uh, yeah see you hopefully soon okay guys we are back and as you see We have um, got this section now built. A couple of seats in, and we are starting to get cash in so that we can uh, finish up the build or at least continue the build. So I want the big. Where's the big sliding doors? Where are they? Large sliding doors. Needs to go there. We need agent desk, which I want to put. Uh, say about there, and then we're going to do the queue system right now. How's that? Mm, right. So if I go there, uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, you know, I don't want it too. 
in elaborate to be fair. I think that'll probably do, maybe. I think. It's actually pretty much like that one. <laughs> to be honest, it's pretty much like that one. Right, we want to sign that to that gate. That queue. Um, how much money have I got? 21 grand. Can we get another chair in there? No, I don't want to put too many chairs in because it'll um, block everything up. You see, I don't know whether these drinks vending machines work yet. We'll dump one in there, no. And we'll dump that there and that there. So now I need to build the taxiway, but that's like 16 grand a pop. I need one, two, I'd rather go three and up, have a nice square going on because then I can extend that across to the other one when that gets built as well. Because um, the other runway is going to go somewhere around here, I think. Probably here. So I need. Uh, that's a good point, actually. One, three. Yeah, should have enough room. Yeah, should have enough room to angle that off. If I do, where's that planning thing? Taxi away. So if I do that with that one, and then. Something like that with that one. It's a pity there's not like a runway on there that you can put in. And this would go like over here somewhere. And then I run the taxiways off the bottom. So. Let's go back to the planning. Could do that then you see. Uh, oops. Okay. So it'll be one bosh. In the wrong place. I am sucking at this big time. One there. How am I doing on that one? It's going to square away. Eh? Oh, uh, so be something like that. With the other runway being here. And then... That'll be there. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. That's looking good, guys. That should work quite nicely. Obviously, he's a bloody expensive, so I'm going to have to wait until I'm getting a bit more cash. But as soon as this one opens up, we should be rocking and rolling with uh, some money rolling in them. Um, what other research can I do while I'm setting it on the complaint? Oh, pricing. That one needs to. If we get pricing done, then we can start whacking the prices up. Just a little. I mean, not no extortionate. Uh, it's only ten quid for a passenger at the minute, uh, ten dollars, sorry, and four hundred for uh, runway usage. So, you know, as we are an expanding airport, we shall uh, hike up the prices to get the peeps in. The airport, uh, the airlines are liking me quite a lot at the minute. Eighty-eight percent from uh, air time. That's pretty impressive. Who else do we have going? Uh, error 4 to 71%, that's good. Error store 81%. That's, so the ones that are actually using me are really liking me so far. Pacific Airlines run 80 percent and they quite like me. So what I'm going to do is try and keep... I'll maybe get the ones that don't like me so much running. And then that way they'll see what an amazing airport we run here. And how efficient we are. And uh, they might start liking me even more. Just try and get that up. Hopefully they'll fix the issues of people missing the flights. And Oh, that's a pretty full one. Uh, of missing the flights and just 
bugging out generally. I'm hoping that's sorted. Um, I will need da -da 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 -da. So, uh, so ball, that bench might have to go so I can attach that because they're going to come down there and through here and it's going to be a bit messy so I'll have to think about that one to be fair and see and as you heard there my phone went off again because yep forgot to put it on silent again like an idiot so they're all running quite well so far the flights aren't getting left behind on it So, I'll have to uh, what do we do? Twenty two. I'm going to need what? Sixteen, thirty two. I'm going to need a lot of cash to build this thing. If I do it one at a time, I suppose. This is the only thing stopping me from now getting the more flights in. I don't need the other runway yet, particularly if I can stagger the landings and takeoffs. See, taking off not too bad, but if I can stagger the landings a bit better. Um, in the schedule, see, I've got two gates ready there. Well, obviously, I haven't got uh, things when I get the two gates. I can move them down and stagger the landings by 15 minutes or so. And then double up the amount of aircraft I've got easily. It's not really about how many runways you've got. It's about how many gates you've got at the minute. If you can stagger them well enough to land, then you should be okay. Uh, unfortunately, I have maxed out my loan, so I ain't going to help. <laughs> But yeah, that's the rough plan. So, we'll do a bit of planning in this one while we're gaining some cash. So, we'll go white as uh, the landing areas. So, I'm going to need to come out a bit more, obviously, for the next uh, gate. Which, let's try and get this planned out properly. Yeah, which will be about there. And where these large ones go, sometimes these are really awkward. You see how the large ones go there? So I need to come out another... There, I think. I don't know why the large ones don't go in the same boxes. Yeah, there we go. There's the other ones. And then I want at least... At least two large ones. Uh, two extra large from where, sorry. So... That's going to come down. Oh, the sun shines out and I can hardly see that now. <laughs> That's going to come down there like that. I'm going to be that way around. So I could probably stack that there. And then another one maybe there. Just gives us a bit of room at the bottom. So, eventually all this will be... your seating area and whatnot. Now if I do let's do ticket in blue. I have a blue desk. So eventually I would like most of this to be ticketing I think. And then I want security to be this sort of chunk here. Ish. Maybe something like that. Uh, down here is going to be um, your baggage claim. So down here you're going to leave uh, your baggage claim area. So that's going to be connected to that in some way. Probably use, use like, this area for baggage claim or even getting to it. 
because we're going to have to run I want a system of these walkways to get from the gates to baggage so that's probably going to run through the middle here as well as a couple of restaurants and things like that so that's that's the basic plan of it um, I'll actually leave that up because that's not too bad but that's the basic plan um, of what I want to do whether it'll stay like that I don't know but um, at the moment it's, it's there like So let us know guys if you think that's good or if there's any changes you want to see. Um, Cause I'm not exactly one hundred percent. Oh my stopwatch has gone really weird. Um of that layout, uh, it may get changed a little bit. I do want uh, ticket boxes to be over here, you know, tickets, and the security to be this way so far, but we'll have to see. Sixteen, two grand, eleven o'clock. No, I'll wait until the morning. So, guys, uh, Come back to me whenever I've got a bit more cash and uh, we'll see how the building's going. Okay guys, we are back. The last aircraft is full and he's taking off now. As you see, we have uh, one taxiway to do. We got 60 grand and we have adjusted the pricing. Uh, on one of my other um, saves, I have the pricing at this. Some air uh, airlines seem to get a little ticked off, but don't do anything about it. Um, so that is good. It's still like that for a while until I can get uh, a good base going. Uh, so we'll get this last taxiway done as it is night time. It's nice and safe. I need an employee for all that desk there. Happy days. Smiley guy, we'll call him John. It's pretty you can't rename the stuff, isn't it? That'll be pretty cool. <coughs> so, John is there, he's looking happy as Larry. Um, that last taxiway is done, so we shall clear the uh, planning bit. Pop. And pop. Excellentos. Okay then. Here's all the people coming for the next flight. So as that is now basically up and running, um, I want to start rearranging the schedule. Start rearranging these schedules. These obviously won't kick in until the next day. Uh, These are afternoon flights, aren't they? So get them in there, and they are the evening flights. I mean there. So we could probably have another two per time slot. So approach the stuff. Let's go and see who we can get. So let's try and get some of these that aren't quite. Oh, they're lovely aircraft colours, aren't they? Wow. What have we got? We have two nighttime ones, all 787s. So 300, can't get them. My things aren't big enough. Spark jet. Oh, they're quite nice with the colourings, I like them. So what have we got? 76250s, can I get them? Yeah. So we got a 251 in the morning. We'll take one of them in the morning. And we'll just run through and see what we've got. 
Uh, so Sparrow Jet, we've got one. They're on 63%. West Jet, what do they have? Well, they've got nice wee ones, haven't they? They have another one for the mornings. Mm, 707 and 180. Yeah, we'll take that because we have quite a lot in the mornings now. So we'll schedule these. So there's a Sparrow Jet one. And there's the uh, West Jet one. Right, so that should be enough time for them. So now we got afternoon. Who have we got afternoon wise? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Pacific Airlines have an afternoon one. Actually, we 19 passenger one. It's not really worth. At the minute, not worth the cash. I need ones that give me money. So. Do, 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 do. Atlantic International have a couple of afternoon ones, do they? Or was I reading that wrong? No, I must have read that wrong. Yep, I did. Uh, Union Air have got three. Again, on a little tiny aircraft. I don't really want. I'm trying to get ones that haven't uh, already been with me, you see. These are Airbuses, these are all large aircraft. I can't get any of them. Aero time of one afternoon one, which is the wee bombardier, which is this bad boy in it. 75 passengers. What do you reckon? Get another one Tell you what then. Tell you what. Afternoon, we'll give them an easy day. We'll give them one of them. Uh, little air buses. Where's the other one with the little aeroplanes? Starflight, was it? 737 in the afternoon. I'll tell you what, we'll have one of them then. Right, that's two afternoon flights done. Let's have a look at the scheduling. Oh, these are all over the place, look. Oh, that's terrible. Right. Mm, how far can I move these up? I'd rather have two hours between them, you see. Just to make sure they all get in on time. Right, that should be good. That's got us pretty steady all day. So, what I want to actually do. Ah, oh, I can't do it. What's Aero Star anyway? I don't know. I want to try and get the same airlines on the same sort of gates, if I can. <coughs> so Aero Time is all down there. Aero Ford is going to have to stay like that because they're both coming in at the same time. And Aero Star and Spark Flight. Uh, Spark and Star Flight on the top. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <coughs> they're all pretty staggered as well for landing and taking off purposes. That should be good. So they should all kick in. Um, on this next day, what are we on now? 11:56. So they should be in the next day, which is going to be awesome. Uh, I think when we get to 100 grand, I'm going to get this other airline uh, air runway up, maybe. And now we have this pricing going, we can start really packing the people in, and I can start building the the new uh, ticket area and stuff like that. Because I'm going to need more ticket in room. So, I hope everybody's good. Um, you've probably all heard about this uh, Google scandal that's going on at the minute. Due to um, uh, a news outlet in the States. Uh, basically spouting rubbish uh, about racist and terrorist videos and that having AdSense adverts on. So all the big companies have basically yanked their adverts from YouTube. Now I was watching a few videos today about this and uh, one of the YouTubers I watched came up with a, a pretty valid point. One, is it true or did the the news media outlet just spout bollocks? Which in this day and age is pretty freaking high chance. Uh, and also, why don't these massive media companies know how AdSense works? 
apparently there is checkboxes on there that will stop your adverts showing on explicit videos um, and certain things uh, so you can limit it so there's lots of checkboxes on there now so they can go on and actually say look I don't want my videos shown on this 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 or this type of content but instead of doing all that they just yanked all the videos out which is hurting a lot of the big youtubers <clears throat> especially the ones that do it full time I mean I'm only doing this for fun uh, I don't have the subscriber base to uh, do this job full time but it's, it's going to hit me hard as well because like, I mean the money I get from YouTube goes right back into my PC I mean it's not a massive amount so obviously you know buying a mouse frigging wipes out my uh, YouTube revenue but it's, uh, it's sad to think that these big companies have just no idea of what they're in uh, you know they use all these media outlets to advertise and that and from what I can see from the reactions they have not got the slightest freaking baldy of what they're doing or how things run or how things work um, now to me that's very very bad of these companies but it's also very bad of the news media outlet to spread what's potentially either bollocks or misinformation or even just like hate mongering you know what I mean now everybody's saying it's to get back at PewDiePie and stuff like that but you know it's a bad state of things now obviously Google is going to start losing a lot of money from this because obviously they get money from the adverts as well so I'll keep an eye on the news and see what's going to go on. Um, but yeah, this is the first I heard about it this morning. Like One Lonely Farmer was the first one that I'd seen talk about it. But he didn't quite explain what was going on. So uh, I went on to... Is it BenQ8000 or something? It was BenQ8000. Uh, which was a really good video. Uh, and he explained what was going on and stuff, and I was like, that's just ridiculous. I mean, how can things like that go on? But, you know, it's the modern world, shit happens, and it, quite frankly, needs to be sorted. Uh, the news media outlet needs, quite frankly, a good kick in the nuts, especially considering some of the things that Ben Keogh actually said. Um, and revealed about the news media outlet some of the things they've done it's a little ridiculous but uh, yeah it needs to be sorted out and the media of today needs to start wising up a little bit I think in my opinion some of the shit they get away with and come out with is ridiculous but anyway that's my two cents of it so I'm not going to get I don't get into political stuff or like that I'll just um, give my two cents worth and that's your lot Oh, actually, cancel that. See, the trouble is you cancel that, you don't get your bloody money back. Now, I'm assuming the vehicle's going to come with all my bits, or it better do. I think if you cancel a project, your money should come back. There's a lot of asphalt there. What do I need for... Oh, right, I might be able to get these built actually. If... No. Does that use all 45 asphalt? Give or. I'll have to build it one by one. one. Uh... I'll need to get all this taxi we're built first actually before I uh, <laughs> before I get that uh, up and running but do I really need that one though? I don't think I do do I? plan clear 
don't think I need that really to get. Uh oh. No, I'll tell her I will do because if I get another. What's it there? Your. Don't need it yet, but. Yeah. I don't know how much this I'm going to be able to do. That answers it. But <laughs> I said it was going to cost me nothing and it just charged me a lot of cash for it. That's stupid thing. The need to sort that out where if you have the materials it shouldn't charge you. If you have the materials you shouldn't have to have the monetary value of it in either. Um, cause that's a bit silly as well but Ah, it's a work in progress game, and it? it's alpha. They're doing good on it. They're uh, updating it near enough every week, like so. Oh, look at that, there's 21 asphalt left there. 20 paint. I don't particularly know what the paint will be used for, like, but. No, I mean, that shouldn't have charged me for that. I have asphalt there. Mm. Anyway, whatever. Start racking them in. Right, so this is where we start getting both gates operational now. Let us see how this runs. Fingers crossed, it runs hunky dory and there's no uh, delays, cock ups, or people not getting on. Because at the minute I'm eight grand down and I've no cash to adjust anything. I know some of the flights are small ones, but I think at the minute that's a good idea until I increase security and um, I don't know what I'm going to call it, the ticket in. I'm going to have to try and get baggage claim down here like soon and then just start running the corridors to it and then adjust in after, you know what I mean? I think it's going to be the best way. Come on, everybody, go, hurry up, let's go, let's go, let's go. See, one missed it because he's faffing about, look. See, this is where it starts. Getting a little silly now. The passengers are there, but they faff about that much, they miss the flights and shit. And this is where it starts getting a little annoying. To be fair. You know what I mean? He's been in there for ages and then he missed the flight. There's a lot. I don't know if they're looking at the board or they're just waiting for one of these to come free. I don't know. So there's a lot of passengers starting to roll in now. I'm gonna have to really expand uh, the security and stuff. That's a big one. All right, let's get another. Uh, go by the check desks in. The two. <coughs> the two staff one. Got security taking a bag through for somebody. Oh, that's a passenger. Happy days, right. Hopefully I'll get them through there a little quicker. Oh, that's a lovely plan, isn't it? West Jet. 707, Boeing. That's a lovely colour scheme on that. That's quite nice as well. So it's going to be a case of starting to save money to give some major modifications now. Well, there's always a lonely bag uh, to get all of this up and running. We've got the two gates going, queues and seating and stuff. So now we need to start sorting baggage claim out. As soon as that's moved, then we can start adjusting security and the ticket area and stuff like that. So I need to try and figure out where these are going to go from the various gate areas because I don't want them running through and getting in the way of everybody, you see. So. Um, 
one central ish one would be nice or expand to carry that along there to connect to one there expand the scene area a wee bit and then just run that one corridor down to attach to the baggage claim and then these guys can all join on from somewhere as well in between restaurants or something maybe I don't know that may be a planning video we could do some point and you know see if we can plan what's going where well there's definitely a lot of passengers rolling through now and we're, well Knocking five, six hundred, depending on what aircraft we've got in. There's a couple of smallish ones in the minute. Well, that aero store is not really small, but we're doing good. Departed at gate and en route. Shouldn't be any uh, overlaps. We've got decent times in between them all to land and whatnot, so that's really good. We have the required stuff coming. I think we might need another janitor now because. There's rubbish everywhere. So I'm thinking on the janitor is going to be handy. Again, I don't know why they're making such a mess. There's bins all over the gaff. You know what I mean? Just mocky, just mocky. No need. And there's still 13 asphalt up there, so it shouldn't be costing me anything to build the flipping thing. Aye. So that was a cock up there. They went to do the runway, cancelled it, and basically lost a hundred grand. You know. So yeah, that uh, devs. If you see this, that could do. We having a look at cancel the project, get your money back. Hundred sixteen on that one. He's an A1 in it, so excellent. Looks like he has a radar on the back of that uh, red dome. You know, there's only 66, there's only a baby plane. Look, there's only a little one. Now, look, there's no passengers that can be late for this aircraft. Everybody should go. Let's have a look. And maybe if you stuck in. Uh, the queue over here for the Starflight one. I don't know what I can do about that because they should come through there and just carry on straight down, but they don't they usually go up to that wall and across, which is a little, see, a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I don't know how I can stop that. Unless I move the queue down into this area and not up at the top. That might be an idea, guys. That's uh, what I might try next. Whenever the last flight's gone at night, we'll do that. We'll adjust these queues, or at least this one for now, and get it down away from the top, and then they can go up there and across. See how that works. But you see, the nice ones coming across the bottom there, so it swings around. It's like you stuffed if you do, stuffed if you don't. That'll have to go. And then we can just have it. Across there and extend all that down. Again, all planning, guys, it's all planning. Makes you appreciate this how people or airports do expansions and things like that and keep it running at like top capacity. You have to think about that sort of thing because if this is a small room airport, like, then you're wanting to expand, you have to build all of this, all of this, and all this whilst the airport is still running. And then it's just a case of like knocking them all down and bosh, everybody goes into the new one. But some work to figure all that out. Anyways, I think at the end of this day run, guys, we will call that a day and pick it up later on. Uh, so I shall start my gump now. Thank you for watching, guys. Please give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, by hitting that like button if you like what you've seen please subscribe go to my other social media outlets for a bootazook if you go to my twitter and twitch they are all linked around the channel somewhere 
Uh, if you go to my uh, Twitch account, I will hopefully be streaming sometime this week. Um, I'm off work for a week, so I've got other bits of bats to do, but I've, fingers crossed at one point I will be streaming. Also, there is a donate button there, guys, if you wish to help me continue on. Um, chuck us a donation. It will be much obliged. Any a penny or a pound or a hundred pound or a million pound, I don't really care. Every penny helps, guys. Because a new graphics card is required, as mine is old. I've not got enough power to run a flipping TV these days. Um, so, yeah. Any help will do. Also, guys, I know I mentioned this before, I do have uh, these Gavi Game TV stickers. I will be ordering another set at some point because I'm not 100% happy with how these have turned out. Um, the company that did it cannot reproduce the glow that was on the lightning and stuff, so it's just come out as white, scuffy looking bits. So, what I'm going to do is anything that's outside of the solid bars of the logo will be cut. And hopefully that will just make it look like the lightning is contained within the logo. It should make it look a bit crisper and cleaner on your Windows uh, PCs and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, see you later.